Hi, this is Tim Diane from Brian's Business Umbrella, a national virtual business advisory firm located here in Buffalo, New York, service clients throughout the country. So what we love so that they can do what they love and uh, scale their business, we do it by uh, taking the back office items off their, off their plate, yeah, acting as their controller or payroll, accounting, strategic pricing, uh, all the back office uh, paperwork kind of stuff. That's what we do. And um, like I said, I'm virtual, so I'm usually working remote out of the, the home office. However, I do meet with clients. Uh, the address on, on record is at the Innovation Center downtown, Buffalo. So we're out there, or you know, sometimes people can come here. Like I said, I can do everything remotely, technologically advanced to do everything. So, you know, portal, encrypted portals, and email and sharing back and forth. But there are still some uh, people that I meet with you. Uh, new prospects. So in that case, I do all the COVID protocol and uh, mask everywhere. So everyone within the company uh, wears a mask when we're meeting with people. I would have never thought of that. Um, I do take it seriously. So this this is a good idea. I, um, I personally don't think businesses necessarily need to be closed, but the protocols have to be followed. So uh, we do wear a mask. Um, again, I'm an expert. I think uh, there's a lot to do with, uh, you know, I've always hand wash. That's been rolling in my head since I was two. So uh, that's important. And uh, then we follow that. But somewhere along the line when you're shopping, I, I think there's a uh, a lot of issues with uh, well, everyone's got to open the door to get in and out. So right there's an issue. If you're at a grocery store, someone's picking it up. I can hand, I read the label, putting it back, and then I'm coming to get it, and I'm putting it back. Somewhere along the line, there's got to be an issue with hands. So we do use the sanitizer and wash our hands uh, frequently. when it makes practical sense and obviously when they're dirty using the restroom. And uh, lastly, I've been a pioneer in social distancing. I didn't know what it was uh, previously until it started. And as a matter of fact, I always have this on hand so that there's no issue. Because I don't want, you know, I like people. It's over there at six feet, buddy. So I recommend uh, tape measure, you know, construction tape measure. Here, you can, uh, here take this, and I walk for six feet, and then you just roll it back in so that there's no question as to whether you have uh, social distance properly or not. I use this on a, even again, before COVID, on a day to day basis, because um, there's no reason to be in my personal space. I can hear you. Voice count goes well over six feet. So this is a Lufkin 100 footer. I uh, highly recommend this so that there's no issue or question as to whether you're six feet apart or not. It's uh, very useful to me. I hardly ever get sick because, you know, six feet is the recommended now, but years now i think it's been about 20 years when i went insane i recommend 10 to 12 feet myself so that way there's no question i can hear you you can hear me we're having a good time at 10 to 12 feet apart so the mask social distance and or tape measure wash your hands frequently um, we're doing all that at brian's business umbrella and uh we, uh, things will keep going in a positive manner. Last I heard, the numbers were down. 
but still within uh, the possibility of going to a red zone. But, uh, you know, here we do our part. And hopefully, everyone that's seeing this does our part, and that's all. All we can control is uh, <laughs> what we can do. So, with that, have a great day, and, um, you know, if you need any accounting, payroll, and business advisory help, um, please feel free to call or email number 716 727 8844. And the email is Timothy Bryan, it's T I M O T H Y B R I E N, at hotmail.com. Have a great day.